Good morning. I'm Councilmember Matthew Eugene, and I'm the chair of the Youth Services Committee. Uh, thank you for making uh, the time to come and vote on this important piece of legislation concerning disconnected youth. This bill is a continuation of our effort to improve the quality of services available to the disconnected youth in our city and our quest to end the disconnected youth, youth crisis in New York City. As you may recall, in April, the City Council voted another bill that I introduced, Intro 708A, which will create a disconnected youth task force. Both bills got their start last year when we had a hearing on disconnected youth where the administration testified on what it was doing to help this uh, population. Advocates also testified to the wide range of services they offered the disconnected youth and recommended ways in which the city could improve service delivery to disconnected youth and help them achieve their full potential. At the last census in 2010, there were approximately 170,000 disconnected youth. I would not be surprised if that number has increased today. Thus, despite the existence of both public and private programs serving disconnected youth, the hearing revealed that those programs are not enough to meet the demand of disconnected youth. Additionally, advocates were quick to point out that some of the programs already in existence were not adequately meeting the specific need of disconnected youth. It was clear from the hearing that we have a lot of work to do to better meet the need of the city's, city's disconnected youth population. This bill takes us in that direction. During their testimony, many advocates highlighted that the Department of Small Businesses Disconnected Youth Job Program was not comprehensive enough to meet the demand of disconnected youth. Other concerns highlighted that having a disconnected youth program in SBS was a duplication of services because SBS already provides job plus placement services through its Workforce One Career Center, which are designed to serve adults and are better suited to serve adults who have been in the workforce. In fact, many advocates expressed the preference for DYCD's disconnected youth program, which their stress has served disconnected youth well. While I appreciated the concern and recommendation highlighted by the advocate, I also realized that the importance of ensuring that if SBS was going to serve disconnected youth, it was important to ensure that the services they provided were adequate to meet the need of this vulnerable population. As a result, we took into consideration the concern of the advocates and modified the legislation to reflect those concerns. The legislation now requires SBC, SBS, to provide services such as referring disconnected youth to agencies or community-based organizations that will help them deal with issues such as mental health, child care, criminal justice issues, or, trans or transportation. Additionally, the legislation requires SBS to develop an, and implement education and job training program, including entrepreneurial skill training, to provide follow-up services and financial liter literacy education. It is important to note that the DYCD the Department of Education, the Human Resources Administration, and the Mayor Office will be involved in the implementation of this program. I am excited that this bill ensures that SBS Disconnected Youth Program will provide targeted services that pro promise to equip an, our disconnected youth with an education and work skills better suited to meet the challenges of the 21st century 
because they too deserve the opportunity, opportunities to succeed. I want to thank the committee staff led by our council, Kihu Gishu, policy analyst uh, Michael Benjamin, senior financial analyst Jessica Ackerman, and my legislative and budget director, Ethan Tucker. And I want to thank also all my colleagues and members of the Youth Services Committee for uh, the help and their participation. And uh, I want uh, uh, you know, also to thank all of you here present. Uh, this is a very important moment when we are going to vote. This is a very important legislation that will, I'm sure, will make a difference in the life of all disconnected youth. Thanks, uh, thank you again to each one and every one of you for what you do on a daily basis for the disconnected youth in New York City. Uh, let me say that we have been we uh, have been joined also by you know from my left or from <laughs> my right, <laughs> Councilmember Annabelle Palma, Councilmember Louis Combo, uh, Councilmember Margaret Chin, and also Councilmember Darlene Milley. Thank you very much. Would you please uh, call the vote? Anybody want to speak? All right. Would you please call the vote? Thank you very much. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on youth services. Introduction 709A, Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Palma. I vote aye, and I request that my name be added to the bill. Mealy. I vote aye, and I request my name to be added to the bill also. And thank you, Chair Matthew. And thank you very much. Thank you. Chin. I will I am uh, happy to be a co-sponsor, and I wanted to congratulate our chairman uh, that we're finally going to really focus on our disconnected youth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Combo. Permission to explain my vote? Okay. Uh, yes. I'll take that permission. Absolutely. Uh, just wanted to congratulate you. This is such an important piece of legislation. It's something that you and the committee have worked hard on. We've heard numerous testimony about our disconnected youth and what happens to that population between the ages of 16 and 24. And what I really appreciate about this legislation is that it's not just simply finding them something to do, but it's also about ensuring that they're going to have the educational opportunities to continue their education, job training so that they can actually create a career path. And I think that this is really important because we know that many young people between the ages of 16 and 24, um, if they don't receive that proper um, involvement, if they don't receive proper training, if they don't have the opportunity to continue their education, um, that many of them will be stuck um, in the situations that they are in um, generationally. So this is really powerful legislation. I'm proud to support it. I too would also like to be added to the bill and I congratulate you and I proudly vote aye. Thank you very much, uh, Councilmember Combo. We have a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Okay, uh, now we're going to uh, leave it open for Councilmember Greenfield. He's on his way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job, Ben. Congratulations.